Okay, for our fourth grade watercolor scale builders, the page says, please do not paint directly on this page. We'll create them on separate paper. So you're gonna get four white square papers that would fit into these squares in your sketchbook. And you're gonna need to write your name on all four papers. Okay, now you're gonna need a placemat to go under your work. Flip over your four so we don't see your name. And I'm gonna keep this out so I can refer back to it. Um, for you guys, I will probably just have this on the screen to help you refer back to it. So that way we don't have to keep all our sketchbooks out at the same time. So the first one is crayon resist. So you're going to get a crayon. It can be any color you want. Um, I like to use white. And you're gonna press hard and draw something with white crayon. Then you can use any color in your watercolor tray by putting a puddle of water on top of the color that you want to use, wiggling the water around gently. The water will change from clear to that paint color and you're going to paint over the top of your watercolor resist and if you pressed hard enough with your crayon, it will still show up. So there's what I did. Hello, so our next skill with watercolor is gonna be blotting. So what you're going to do is you're gonna pick a color and you're gonna get a puddle of water on top of that color. So you take your paintbrush, get it wet, pull it across the edge of the oval, get a puddle of water on top, wiggle your paintbrush in that water, gently touching the watercolor that's underneath. And by doing that, it makes the watercolor become the color underneath. And then you're going to paint this color all over the square, make it nice and wet and heavy with paint. And then you're going to need a paper towel to blot. So you're going to take a paper towel, kind of wad it up, and use your finger to hold one corner so that the paper doesn't move, and you're just going to blot. And maybe leave one part of the paper unblotted so you can see the difference. And then this paper towel will have to go in the trash can because paper towels can't be recycled, unfortunately, so don't put it in the blue recycle bin. And that's how you do blotting. So my third one is watercolor showing light and dark value. So I'm going to use this red violet color and I'm gonna get half my paper with plain water and then add a little bit of paint. Oh, that's really dark. So I want my paper to go light to dark. So now I need to rinse my paper shop and just use plain water so that I can get a dark value down to a light value. So I'll rinse my paper shop, get just plain water. And so I have dark to light, but I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more up here to make it a little bit darker. So you can definitely see it went from dark to light. And the way that you can make it dark is just by adding more and more of that color on top. And then the way you make it light is having a clean paintbrush and just using plain water along the edge that you want to be light. So I have shown light to dark value. And then on my last one, it's wet on wet using warm or cool colors. So you need to know what the warm colors or the cool colors are. Warm colors are reds, yellows, and oranges. Cool colors are blues, greens, and purples. I have this purple already wet, so I'm gonna use that. And it says wet on wet. So that means you have to get your paper wet. And then you have to take wet paint, so wet on wet, wet paint on wet paper, and just touch it and let it kind of bleed and run together. And it can be very beautiful. And since it says cool colors, I don't have to limit it to just one color. I could go ahead and use and touch this green and let it kind of bleed and run with the purple. And there I have my four finished watercolor skill builders for my page. You're gonna take this to the drying rack all together with your placemats. And then you'll put your paint tray away, rinse your paintbrush out, and put it Brussels side up in the